Here is my Dyson. I have the Dyson Synetic Big Ball Animal and Allergy Vacuum, and I'm just gonna show how I replaced the um, filter inside. I did see some other videos, but they weren't that good. Um, I already replaced my other filter. Sometimes that's the problem with these. Um, the suction becomes less over time if, if the filter is really dirty. So that would be a good thing to fix. Um, so I'm gonna just make sure this is the right way. And I'm gonna try to do this video as good as I can. Oops, no, that wasn't good. And you should really probably try to use like the hand tools, but I just use the electric screwdriver because it's quick and fast. And then I just pop this off. It should just come off. And then I leave this on the side. I put this nail inside there. That way I know where it goes. And then this, you have to do these two pieces. You need to unscrew it. Nope, oh, that's wrong way. I'm just gonna go ahead and try to screw this out. And put those two. I'm trying not to strip the nail. Yeah, you don't wanna strip these nails because they're kind of expensive. Thankfully, with the parts that I bought, uh, to replace the filter, it came with new screws. Okay, and then you have three screws right here. One, two, three. I'm going to remove this one. Just put those there, put this there. Then I'm gonna pop this off. So it just comes off like that. Put that there. Um, what am I doing? So then I'm just gonna put this in order. So I'm gonna put that there and this there. These screws there and these screws here. Just so I know. So, oh, and then here's my dirty filter. Um, yeah, so it's pretty dirty. So I'm guessing why this suction, you know, isn't good on my vacuum is because I haven't fixed it in years, so, or replaced it. So this is the new filter I bought. I'll put a link in the description where I got this filter. Um, it's an authentic uh, Dyson replacement, and it also comes with brand new screws so I don't need to keep those. Um, I'm gonna actually use these. So this is what it's gonna look like. And then um, how I know how to put it back is because there's these two holes. There's two holes here. And I'm just gonna place this right here. Right, that was not the right way. Okay, now that's the right way. So there you go. So it matches one, two, three and then there's two holes let's grab the new screws i'm gonna try to stabilize my phone okay and then we'll get to screwing so i'm just gonna pop the that was not fucking good. Okay, I'm gonna do this video. I accidentally dropped one of the screws inside of the like actual vacuum, but I just shook it out and it came out easily. So if you do that and you drop a screw, just shake the vacuum out and you're good. It's not that big of a deal. It is if you don't get it out though. So I'm gonna pop these two in. My hand is free. There. 
make sure you don't strip the nails and I did not strip them but it sounded like I did who cares so I'm gonna pop these in one there's two and where's that third one right here got the new filter on um, I'm gonna put this over it so get this part I'm actually gonna pop I'm gonna pop this out put that right here and then you're gonna match this hole with that just like that and then this goes right on top push that in this screw goes right there so that's how you replace a dyson cinetic um big ball animal allergy air filter or HEPA filter um, and like I said I'll leave the link in the description so you can order the same one I got it was I think I paid $70 70 something with taxes and shipping um, but they sent me um, five new screws and there's three that goes here two that goes here um, yeah and I really appreciate that they send me brand new screws because these ones are you know kind of stripped not too stripped but you know and then um just look at more videos that i'm gonna upload i'm trying to fix my dyson vacuum um the next problem that i'm gonna fix is this suction i think that my dyson's not suctioning right one because the filters need to be replaced i just replaced that the next one is I have to replace this whole thing um, because this suction is not strong. There's still holes like, you know, this dent. And then if you just lift it up, there's a hole right there. And then once you take this off, you can see this is like bent even though the plastic's fine. And this is like loose and has a dent there. But it's not suction suctioning, you know. The rubber is not that good, so I need to replace that. But yeah, I'll show a second video. Um, so that's how you replace the air filters.